Hi, it's my time to shine. Anyway, I was checking up on some things. I'm still up because first of all, I'm watching Wendy Williams from the beginning. But when I was, how old was I? 13 years old. Like I've told people, I've been doing tarot since I was 12. I'm going to tell you how to divine what he does. I'm really about to tell you. My mom still thinks to like to this day that I don't know that she threw my shit out. Now, what I want to just advise like parents, like even me, which I don't think, did I ever throw anything out? My daughters I did. But other, but I ain't really throw nothing out. I just threw something personal. I ain't going to get into that. So if I ever, well, I will make it to be a famous YouTuber. I don't want nobody like coming back. But I keep shit real. Whatever I say, I'll say that shit again. That's just me. So I wouldn't even give a fuck. But I threw something out of my daughters that I really think that she shouldn't have. Well, she shouldn't have been writing. And how old was she? She probably was 18. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's just how I roll. Certain shit that I think that you could um, hurt yourself with. Or somebody could self or so not self-sabotage. Well, yeah, it was like a self-sabotage letter, but the wrong person get that could turn that around. People use your kids. You gotta be careful with motherfuckers nowadays. But um, anyway, when I was 13 or whatever, I was doing my little thing with my cards. I didn't have cards at that time. I had this big book. And um some of the shit, the book, it was a big book. It was like 400 pages, 300 pages. And then like anybody I interacted with as a child, it doesn't matter who it was. I used to always look them up because it, I don't know why I was doing it. I know why now because I was divinely guided at a young age. And parents don't really understand that. Like they take that as that's evil, that's witchcraft. I'm throwing that shit away and all that. But they gambling and shit. My mom used to play poker. I had poker games at her house. Wasn't no bullshit going on or nothing like that. But my mom was a, a, a real boss. Like I ain't talk about these motherfuckers talk about they bosses and shit. My mom was a boss with grandkids. My mom was nothing slacking. My mom was a fucking queen and she still is. Like bottom line, like my, you ain't had. Money. The hands start at 50. It ain't no need to come over. We had a big ass great day and it wasn't that type. So like my mom is the shit. Like, so I grew up in a single family home and everybody around was getting money in all types of errors and areas. So it was like I got everything I wanted. Christmas, the tree looked like a fucking big ass house of just all me, all types of toys. Every I got everything I always wanted. At every every year. Sometimes I used to get more. So, um, I just grew up around wealthy, wealth. I always grew up around wealth. That's all I can remember is wealth. Like, I got what I want. My cousins used to be jealous. It, I just grew up around wealth. Like, my mom, like, was the type that, like, she didn't stick to name brand all the time, but I had everything I wanted more than other children. Like, everybody might have had $200 sneakers, one pair of $200 sneakers and a couple outfits, but I may have had, like, non-non brand, but I had over, like, $2,000 worth of clothes. You feel what I'm saying? And I might not have had the um, whatever sneaks was out, like, everybody was rocking, but I had all JCPenney and Strawbridge Bridges and Lord of Teller shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, my mom was, like, a different thing. She knew how to stretch her money. Like, like I can't explain it. And my mom didn't have thousands of children. At that time, my, oh, my mom's kids was grown, living on their own. And I was the only one there. Because, I, you know, I was adopted. I keep that real. But my mom been raising me since I was, a, a, like, I think a week old. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, it was always jealousy and hate. But anyway, make a long story short. My mom, I used to be doing shit, like... At 12, 13, I used to know how to turn a telephone on, literally, without you. I can't explain it. I, I hook some shit up. I'm good with wiring and shit. You feel what I'm saying? My mom used to be like, that's going to be trouble for me in the long run, but I never use it for negative. Um, I used to do some shit. My mom would tell you, like, literally, I'm smart as shit, and a lot of people is, is jealous of my smarts. So... My mom didn't like me doing stuff, and I was the only child. My mom used to be working nights, and she used to be thinking I'm asleep and shit, but I never would sleep. I can't sleep. I, when I was little, I couldn't sleep at night. Like, I used to be having nightmares about a lot of stuff, 
and just a lot of situations. I don't know why I used to have them. I used to have insights and stuff. So I used to like, um, at that time, you know, it wasn't no online and all that shit. But I used to always, my outing was the library. My mom, I used to say, mom, can I go to the library? Can I go to the library? So I used to have friends. My friends was in college. I was 13, 12, hanging with people that was in 30s, that was in college. Like Eastern, Eastern College here in Pennsylvania. My pen pal was a white girl. I wish I could find her, man. I, I miss her. Like, oh, my goodness. And I know she probably missed me. Like, damn, what happened to her? But I'm not under the last name I'm under now as, as, as well. But... I, her name was Paige. That's all I know. And um, she was a, a, a spiritual person, too. So she used to come get me, come get me. I remember I remember her from Rosedale Baptist Church. I, it was like a church that helped you go. They go on trips. It was like all the teenagers, I was there. But I was quiet. I was shy. Um, and people used to try to pick on me as well because I had hazel eyes, curly hair. They used to just be jealous. People just was real jealous creatures at that time. So I always used to be fighting and mostly winning. Like... I dealt with all of that. Some people try to jump me, whatever, whatever. But the outcome most of the time wasn't good for them. So, like, at the end of the day, it was a lot going on. So, I used to go to the library. And I always used to stay in, a, in, a, in an area that had to do with tar tarot, horoscopes. I didn't deal with the Bible so much. Even though every Sunday I used to go to church with my, with, with my, with my, with my cousins and them. I just couldn't feel the Holy Spirit. I don't know what it was. I can't lie to you. Even up to now, I never felt what everybody was feeling in the church. They made me get baptized and everything. But I, I, I felt like I was drowning in that shit. When they put me under the water, I was mad as shit. I wanted to do it, but I was following my cousins. I never understood what was really going on in church. I just see people handing plates around, get asking for money three times this three times a day in church and i'm like damn all my allowance is going in this all of, all of this pan and if you don't give it everybody look at you like you crazy no matter if you're a kid or not like it used to be crazy in church i used to say, like the church but it was just like you know who was sleeping with who at church you know who got more more um sorority in church you could sit in the first row or second row you got to sit in the back and it was a mess to me and i'm not saying god is a mess i'm saying the church atmosphere was a mess so at the time i just start not wanting to go any longer didn't want to because i used to be soprano octa, soprano octa. i forgot it's three it's the men voice it's two women voice you could be octa, a soprano octa which is singing i was good with singing too and i had a lot of hate there you they used to throw me on the other side and i'm i need to be on the soprano side like i i see what things was you feel what i'm saying so it was a lot going on it was like favoritism in church as well i see a lot of that so um long story short every time i go to the library i just was into the spiritual world like like i used to tell my pen, pen pal like I used to be seeing stuff or like I, I get certain it's like intuitions. I used to be telling her and she was like, you're, 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 you're spiritual. I didn't understand what she meant. And she was like, you might not never in tune to it, especially if you got people or even your mom or your parents that don't like it. You'll put it in back of your head and then never comes to fruitation. So maybe you get way, way older. I didn't understand what the fuck she was talking about. All I knew, all I wanted was all these tarot books, all these signs. I remember my mom used to always read the horoscope every day too. So I got used to the newspaper. I used to read the horoscope and shit. I'm like, damn. And I was young. So meanwhile, I was sneaky. I got this horoscope book. I got it delivered to where I live at. Remind you, I'm only 13. I shouldn't even be getting shit in the mail. I knew my mom be sleep a little bit, and I knew how our mailman come. We had the same mailman for over like 20 years or more or something like that. It, he was here forever. So, my book came in the mail. I was able to get it. I was so happy. So, yeah, I had the book. I used to be reading up on stuff. Either I, first, I start off, I always start off with reading about me. And I was reading this book, and I was like, what the fuck? And I like some of the shit it said about me. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, that is me. Like, some of it was me. It kept it real. I could be cold as ice. And I could be a cold motherfucker. And I could hurt you. When well, you never been hurt before, I was reading it like, damn. It was telling me my positive and my negative traits. And I was like, damn. So I used to read it. As I'm getting older, I, I met my first love at 12. But he got sent away to a prison because he was selling drugs for it. Since he was like 11, 10, he was driving 
point eight, whether it's that time little tour I was with Rams and we wasn't no more than fourteen, fifteen. Like and that's where his money like I know what real hustlers are. That's why I just don't really pay people to mind. And I'm not saying cause he got a car, but I literally seen stacks at twelve, thirteen years old and they ain't do nothing but just continue to grow. So, I know how that is. And maybe because he was a Pisces, a February Pisces, don't know. But I know real dough. Um, Not just having $3,000 in a house and you balling. That's no money. But anyway, so um, I had this book I used to read about him because I had a lot of confusion with him with girls. So I always had to like try to chase people with nice truck. I was crazy is that they called me. But I wasn't really crazy. I didn't play with my men. I'm going to fuck you up. So... If you fucking with him and you know he got me, people used to try to be sneaky as they can because the rep is, I'm going to cut you the fuck up. I used to spray paint who I was going to cut up when I see you. So it used to be wild. I used to be something else. Now I ain't into that. You feel me? But I was something. So anyway, I had this book. I used to read the book. LeVar was my first love. Doesn't matter. He on here. Everybody already know. Um... He got locked up, but I was just still into the spiritual world. So I used to know he was cheating. He's like, how the fuck you pop up here? I used to pop up, see bitches. He used to always wonder like, how the fuck you get here? How you know? I don't get it. You, you, my mom, I used to sneak out of shit like a little bit. My mom worked at night. So I used to sneak out. Soon she leave for work for her 12 midnight shift. I was going to my first love house. Used to run away for two, three weeks. Remind you, I'm like 14, 15 at the end of the day. He didn't know. He still don't get it. I was really in tune to some shit. So I used to read, go in this book like I was a fashion way. One day I came home and you know that motherfucking book was going. I knew where I put that book at. That book was going. I never seen that book the rest of my life. Tonight, something was like, Google the book. So I Googled it. I couldn't find it. I was like, man, because I can't picture everything with the book. You feel what I'm saying? So I go to the author and I go to description. Before I buy anything, anything, I always read the description. I don't give a fuck how long it is. A lot of people see it. Oh, I'm buying it. I read descriptions. So one of them look, I read the description. I'm like, nah, this don't sound like they said this was three years ago. Now nah, I said, the book I'm looking for is 20 years plus. They might had to redo something, but it's 20 years plus. How the fuck? I just went on amazon i couldn't find a book at first but then when i put it in um google it popped up but it didn't pop up as you could buy it it tells about the author and how this go oh, this is over 20 years old and it's for every sign every it's for every day of the year it's 365 pages for every day let's say you was born january the first second third fourth it's like you do the negative qualities everything that could happen like things in your life it was a crazy book, but I realized that it's astrology, though, because I was into astrology. Tarot card is literally not astrology. An astrologer is something different, whereas it tell you that this these two days here, you might evo you want to avoid because you might get in a car accident. You might end up... Da -da. That's astrology. It's way different than tarot. You can never confuse astrology with tell and that's what a lot of people try to do and they and i'm not trying to talk about no baby body because that's not good but in a divine way of saying don't ever ever put tarot card with astrology because you're being a fraud you can't do that you can't either you study both and you got that knowledge or you just want to be a fraud and just want to talk for nothing you can't you can't you can't put it you cannot put them together so how the fuck i found that book tonight I went back and Googled the name. The book is 20 plus years old. It come back from way long. Same book. Same cover. 365 pages plus the index. I found a fucking book. And it ain't even high. And they got one book. What did I do? Transfer them funds from the other account to the other account. And that shit is all the motherfucking way. I am so happy to find that book. And it was like, it's divinely guided for me to get this book. Not because I do tarot. Because, like, I literally love astrology. I like to, like, right now, I'm going to give you a sample. The moon, did we got a new moon or something's going on right now. Like, I literally put it back on my head so I don't do astrology right now. But once I get in, back in tune, I really can. And I used to be into it. People's like, oh, yeah, here you go with these signs. It's not about signs. It's about astrology. People don't understand. They're slow. They stuck on the here and now. And they stuck on the devil energy. So they're not never going to sit down and understand astrology and tarot cards. And, 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 and insights and, and empaths and none of that. And I don't want to explain it to like 
slow-minded people that's not like me. I rather talk to people that, yeah, they listen to these videos, they have insights as well, and they're not crazy, and damn, this is how you could make your intuition more and more alert, key. You feel me? Because, like, we had a new moon or something, and it messes up with women menstrual periods. I still didn't get mine. Being as though I ain't had sex, I don't know what it's summer January, five months almost again, when I just had, I had it, but this person is just whatever, got too much going on, and when I get mad, I, that's just how that shit be. So, I could go a year or two sometimes. Like, I just don't just give my vagina up like that. Like, I'm not a child no more, and it's just that the pull some my energy you having sex with, don't matter condom or not, condom don't stop herpes general warts and all crabs and another disease that people don't know they go i'm using a condom you might have general warts that's not shown you might got herpes not shown and i'm still could get it um so sorry like but at the end of the day um the new moon shit my period didn't come on yet i feel it wouldn't come but sometimes when the transits is what they are it fucks up certain cycles people want to understand it they're like you're going crazy blah, blah, blah. it's not crazy if you know how to move when it's certain moons and certain things going on you will be happy with your life because you won't even make that move people like, i ain't fucking around you make that move the, the sun is in such and such whereas though 90 percent if you make that move it's going to be a, a failure and you could just wait four more months to do it you're going to wait that four more four more months if you astrology in tune a lot of people's not in tune with astrology not in tune with tarot like that they read in tarot but don't really even understand what they read and don't even understand situations don't understand when it's certain type of moons that you don't supposed to read reversals. I've been learned that when I was a kid because the it was certain energies I have it coming out fucked up. It is not even fucked up. And you giving a person a reading that's fucked up because you're reading reversals. It's better with certain moons and certain sun signs is a certain way or coming in a certain transit or degree. Don't read reversals at that time. No matter how many come up, because you might be giving somebody accurate, uh, inaccurate reading. That's why I was like, I think a couple of weeks ago, I said, I'm not reading no reversals. My reason is because I see already what's going on. Like, I don't be attuned with astrology like I was when I was little. But if I Google or I hear another tarot reader, like, oh, the moon is in such and such. Oh, da, da, I'm like, oh, shit. I'm not reading reversals, but I don't keep up with it. So, I could be reading reversals. But, see, when I read reversals, it is not meant for that person. Other cards will clarify that that wasn't right. And it'll come out for them. Anyway, everybody don't be attuned or have that gift for it to change before you end that reading. So, you might be reading to somebody because you're not knowing that listen the moon is into such and such a degree don't read reversals and you're reading reversals i just try to help people out i don't care like if you was on youtube before me it's not about long it's not about how long you was on youtube it's about how long you've been doing tarot literally or been in tuning with that and i literally been doing it probably 12 is what i really remember but it might have went long ago before that you feel me because my mom said i was always into wild stuff she call it wild stuff i call it fucking smart intuitive and motherfucking intelligent that's what i call it and now she likes to get these readings every now and then when something ain't right or hear about something so i don't pay her no mind no more but anyway the book is on its way and i'm so happy because it's a lot of people that want to know about astrology. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make me another YouTube page to connect it with this page. But that's going to be for like people that's into astrology, moons and stuff. And like so I can interact with those type of people and brush up on some things far as that is concerned for my page as well. And I can't wait to that book because I'm like, damn, that gave me so much detail that it broke down some shit with people I knew. Now I'm older, I really, and you know, as long as you, you don't even got to know the year they was born. Let me remind you, the day they was born is what this book is about. I mean, the day, like, okay, January the 10th for me, January the 10th is what you're going to read, and it's going to tell you some shit, and it'll tell you, like, the negative qualities. Like, you can have two people born in January the 10th, but one person got all positive qualities, the other one got the negative. you like, damn, how we born on the same day? Because we might not was born the same time. So they might take over the negative qualities while you take over the positive qualities. Now you feel what I'm saying? I met a Capricorn that's a complete snake. <laughs> I'm going to keep that shit. His birthday is the same as mine. Come to find out, she not we, we not on the same team. It seemed like it, but we really not. 
You feel what I'm saying? So it's like you can't really trust that that type of vibe. You just got to vibe with the person and see how they are. Just like earth signs. Like I'm like, Virgo and Taurus ain't nothing like me. Like They shysty as hell. And they always talk about everybody be around. That's not me. So therefore, like I know that, yeah, we earth signs, but whoa. Y'all 50, I'm over here on 200. It's a different code here. So that's why I don't put people with me because I know everybody ain't ain't on my level. Like, no, put the X sign up for them. Like, stay away. Like, they be so evil that I don't even want you around me. That's how that shit be. So, like, at the end of the day, you got to, like, in tune with them, but also understand the signs, the angles. A lot of people don't know the exact time they was born. If you know the exact time you was born, it could break things down easily. Like, you could always get it. The hospital you was born in, go up there. They usually had a records. What time was I born? You could just do that. You know, you could, you could call anything. All you want to know is what time you was born. That could be the key to your success, knowing the time you was born. To such you know how your future is. Yeah, people be like, you ain't God. Yeah, but God gives you intuition, give others intuition to help you understand and learn yourself in a divine better. Right what you see is not all that is here for everybody. Just to wake up and go to work every day, come home, gossip, be fake, do negative shit. That's not what we was tended here for. Everybody is tended to go to a higher learning, but a lot of people is stuck on the being low grade of what the divine want them to be. Some people get blessings and end up still coming back being low grade. That's just how some people are. Some people, everybody's not going to have the mentality to make it to the tippy, tippy top. Some people are going to make it to the tippy, tippy top, but they're going to fuck up and fall backwards. Some people are going to make it to the tippy, tippy top and keep on going for humanity purpose. Some people don't know how to do that. They don't know how to give and take, so they're never going to make it to the tippy, tippy top because you're selfish. And that's not what just fun. Selfish with everything. Yourself, your gossip, your lies, your betrayal. Divine ain't letting you get up there with them people that's tippy tippy top. They don't want you around them. You literally a snake. You wear ass. So you want to stay down here with the low grade people. And some people never make it up the top. That's just what it is. I'm not be. I'm not being bad. I don't want to be with the low grade too long. I'm tired. I had my fair share. I'm ready. So, hey, I asked the divine to do whatever he got to do for me and whatever he got to take out my life. It don't care if it's family, it's friends. I don't care what it is no more. Whatever he got to do to take out my life to make a better me for me to to to, to prosper and, and, and go for what I know and to, to be happy in my life, he could do because I can't take no more nobody else's shit. Like, that's bottom line. I don't have it in me no more. I don't care. Like, whatever you do, how selfish you be, if you want to act crazy or you want to be acting retarded, that's the fuck on you. You got to talk to the divine with yourself. Just don't come to me when shit ain't right. I ain't going to turn my back all the way on you if you family, but don't ever think that I'm going to give in to you because you had that chance. Now it's time to wash my hands and continue my way forward because you have your own family hating because you 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 shining a little bit instead of giving you a hug like damn that's 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 cool and shoot shit they give somebody that ain't to take care of them somebody don't even fuck with them like that more more leeway than they give you that's why once you you see a little shine with yourself you'll really see how motherfuckers really is or how they really at you gotta just step back away from them and that's what i'm doing like any negative you doing don't last forever you may think it and it don't last either you're gonna get caught up or the divine going to show you something. That's it. That's why you're supposed to get in and get out. Especially if you're doing something negative. That shit don't supposed to be forever in your life. You shouldn't supposed to be doing that shit over 20 years. You should be having your money stacked. Whereas though, like, listen, I'm putting some money into a business. I'm getting out the game like I did. And people that know me that's probably listen to this like, yeah, Robin did. She, she moved to Delaware. She got rid of everything. She was done. Never turn back. I wish I would be doing the same shit after 20 years or living in the same area, same house. I don't own anything and I'm doing the same shit. What mental are you on? That's how you know when some people are just stuck in the past and they never going to get to the tippy tippy top. They don't know how. Not me. I don't care how long it's going to take me, but I know I ain't being around no negativity. Once you show me your colors, huh, I'm done. That's on you and your colors and your God. I got my God, my divine. That's not what he wants for me. But to make the long story short, I'm about to finish doing what I'm doing. I'm just so excited that I found this book because, like, I want to tune into, like, some others, too. Like, I'm slick. Yep, I'll be attuning to people to see. That's why I know a couple of shysty people that just think I don't know they shysty that I cut off. 
Like, I knew they were shisty a little bit prior to them trying to shice me is the situation. I just was laughing, like, kind of, because I don't really give a fuck about them because they're nothing to me like that. And then, second of all, like, your backyard is dirty, pissy, stinky as hell. So, like, mm-mm. I don't have a record. I don't want a record. I don't have all that. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't have all the drama in my house. I'm not just being with somebody because I can't, you know, I can't maintain without a person that treat me like shit. That's just not me. I'm not going to be happy one day with you the next day. We arguing every day or you trying to put me out, putting you out. I'm not dealing with all that. I maintain my own balance and a lot of people don't like that. But hey, you could do what I do. Just pull your boosters up and keep on pushing. <laughs> That's my favorite line. That's what my mom said. She 84 taught me that line. A lot of people, they don't know how to pull that boosters up and keep pushing. The only thing was look is hate, lie, hate on their family members. Disrespect their parents and think good luck coming to them. You don't disrespect your parents. Ain't no good luck coming to fuck to you. You think you bossing? You ain't gonna boss forever. Your time will be coming. Like, and, and you you could talk slick, all that shit. But at the end of the day, it's a God. And if you don't believe on it, that's on you. He gonna bring that shit to fruitation for you with a little bit. That's how I say with people. It don't matter. And I can't control it. And honestly, I don't want to control it because everybody dealt with if they disrespect to their mom. Most people don't live that long. The ones that do, they end up sick, broke, going through something, mentally drained and stressed out. So that's on them. And they never get to make it to the top because they dis they disrespected their parents. Like most of these motherfuckers that made it to the top, they didn't disrespect their motherfucking parents. They helped their parents out. A lot of these motherfuckers nowadays, all they worry about is their self, 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 their self. But they trying to make it hit or make an actor or, you know, make it on a, on an NFL or NBA. Like, you're not making it no fuck away because you don't even look out for your own family like that. Without somebody got to keep being on you or without you being shisty or without somebody got to tell you what to do. You should already know what to do. People put too many people in front of family and that's why they don't get nowhere. And even if family is fucked up, you still don't disrespect family in front of nobody that's literally ain't family that's another thing you you give it somebody else um where they feel as though they could disrespect your family that's why me personally no you know who literally i call my family and i want to give a fuck who got mad about this god divine that's my fucking family he never forsake me he never turned his back on me he never backstabbed me he never talked slick and he'll never hate if anything, he going to push me higher. He going to make me a, a better woman. He going to make me get everything that everybody's trying to keep from me. It don't matter if it's kids, grandkids, money, life, love. He going to give me all that through another source. That's how that shit work. You think I give a fuck? I don't give a fuck about nobody like that but the divine, yo. And that's at the end of the day. And my love for my mother that's made it to 80-something years old, yo. Other than that, I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, Everybody going to learn on that due time. I, everybody going to have to learn. Everybody going to have to learn. Everybody that's 18 and up got to learn all the situations they need to learn. You, they're going to have to learn life. Like I'm still learning life. So there's nothing else for me to have to teach or do for anyone else. My hands been clipped and burnt and tied and cut from everything. That don't make me mad. I'm chilling. I ain't stuck nowhere. I ain't got drama that's going to be coming to me. No, I just sit back and I just be laughing, making my money and trying to figure out more goals and try to figure out like, what's my next plan? What else can I do to better myself to keep me away from shisty ass people, including family and everybody, the fuck business associations, people's emails. Oh, I, 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 fuck out of here. You're coming from the devil. Like if I like, that's how I look at people. You're coming from the devil with this bullshit. You're trying to get me. Whatever I don't have, I don't want. I'm not giving nobody my social security number. You'd have lost your fucking mind. That's the I don't do it. Only person get my social security number is motherfuckers that really need it. I keep that. I don't even keep that shit on me. I keep that shit tucked. Because somebody get your social, be getting shit in your name. And you be looking for your shit and they, they getting shit in your name and all that. Motherfuckers, credit ain't right at this time. Motherfuckers that's your age or like even older, they not right. So they'll find your social and, and, and be getting other shit. Could, you even could try to get a house in your name. Motherfuckers will do all types in your name and don't even have your social. So you got to be weary with these snakes. I look at everybody, snakes are aliens because that's what they are. And different sizes and shapes. That's it. Miserable. Unhappy. 
Mm mm mm. Yep, I'm eating butter, butter pecan ice cream because soon I'm about to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it all. Shit. <laughs> I shouldn't even board it, but oh well. I could, I got to cheat once, but I know I can't cheat once that surgery hit. But anyway, I hope everybody have a great night or morning. I don't know, but I was trying to do my membership reads. And that's it. But I found the book. So I'll be able to in tune deeper. Because if I had that book since I was little, certainly certain people I wouldn't even never mess with. They wouldn't even never have been in my energy from day one. Because that book tells the truth. I'm telling you, it had me mad about my negative traits. And I'm like, yep, that's me. I'm laughing, but yeah, it's me. But I just didn't like them negative traits. Some of the shit I'm like, that ain't me. It'll let you know if somebody's a murderer. And his own words, it'll let you know how they are, their negative traits. I'm telling you, that book is the truth. If you if you got somebody that eventually is going to backstab you, because that's in their nature. So you, some people, it's just snakes. It's not something that they're trying to do to you. This is what they're used to. That's in their blood. They're snakes. Liars. That's what they're used to. Murderers. That's what they're used to. Rapists. That's in their blood. It's no... No type of therapy going to get these people out of these things because this is them. Everybody is not born an angel. Motherfuckers that, that cheat, that's in their blood. It's nothing. They can love you, but still, that's their blood. And that book I had for all signs for like 365 pages for the one, I think it's more than that, really, from the first to whatever your birthday fall on, like it is so crazy. It tell you, it just tell you all people negative traits. And then if you know that person, you be like, what the fuck? What I'ma do? I might start some readings and let people know. Like if you mess with somebody on this day, here go the positive traits. Here go the negative traits. So maybe you could like see like, damn, I did mess with somebody. They was like that when we broke. You might start seeing on your own. Because some people need to know who the hell they dealing with. Because sometimes you don't know who you dealing with until something get fucked up. And you be like, damn, I, he was that evil or she was like that. It was already in her blood. It ain't nothing you took her off. That's what they, they, they do. You just didn't see that dark side. Everybody got a dark side, but some dark sides you may not want nothing to do with. Like, some dark sides, I don't want nobody that, that's doing certain shit. Like, I'm running. I'm about to deal with a different dark side. Uh, some dark sides I don't want nothing with. So, that's what's going on here. I just hope, you know. Oh, today the first. Yes. I do new manifestations. At the beginning of every month. Yes, indeed. And both of my books is upstairs. I don't usually do it in the first, but I usually try to do it at the, because it don't come manifest for 30 more days. I got so many different manifestations. I don't even know what to write right now. But it's going to come to me. I'll probably do it. I'll remember. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do it. It's the first. And I got to get some manifestations on and popping. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this read and, well, it's not even a read. I will call this influence. I'm going to be an influencer on top of tarot. So, I could, like, talk to people that really need to hear this guidance and truth. Because a lot of people sugarcoat shit and don't want to say certain shit on the website or they come at you cussing and arguing and can't really explain something to you the correct way. Well, I'm the one that's going to come and tell you raw in the right way, quickly, and you're going to understand what I'm talking about. And if you need proof, you'll get that the fuck too. I'm not one of them. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing or put everything I feel into a tarot reading. No, you, you, you got to be able to speak fluently direct with your audience besides tarot with certain situations everything can be combined in tarot readings i realized that for myself it's just too much going on 
that's why I'm about to make me a few other channels, but I'm going to combine them because I got things that I want to do for humanity purpose as far as astrology for people that want to understand certain things or why certain things go on wrong in our life with this person. That person may not be for you and you made it for you. Like everybody's not meant for everybody that they with. And that's why after 20 years you break up. You know people that have been together for 50 years and never broke up. That was meant for them. Or one person have a stroke one week, then the following week the other one have. They got they got a connection that can't be broke. Where one go, the other one going to go right away because that's just that connection. It's not because they was together that long. They was divinely guided literally to be together. Like people don't understand these mates. You don't be with these people that long like that and shit and break up because y'all not divinely guided. Or it's not ready at that time and you need to reunite later when divine wants you to. That's why people don't last long. They think having babies by them and all that, jumping around, all these little kids around and jumping around to different marriages or jumping around different men so you find the right one. They're not divinely guided. And that's even with me. That's why I'm not looking no more. When you're divinely guided with somebody, that's a feeling that you're never going to forget. You Y'all not going to go nowhere. But... People's not divinely guided. Rich too. When they get married, all everybody's not divinely guided. You're not. Some people is divinely guided. That's why they still together through all storms. Some people don't be together, even if they want to make it work. Divine to throw something in there, make them have a baby on you, or do something to show you like this is not for you. What when is you want to budge? Some people don't budge and they be miserable. I'm budging. I'm not being caught up, and I'm not being stepmom no more. I had to keep putting that out. I just decided that I don't feel like doing that no more. I just want to live my life, and they got a mom. They got to deal with their child like I dealt with mine. I want to move forward. I don't want to do babysitting situations. I don't want to be a second mom. I feel as though that it's time for these moms to stand up. Y'all had these babies young. Stop chasing these men. Some leave their kids in the house to run in the street chasing these men or do whatever they want to do. It's just... Listen, it's your time to take care of your child. Yes, I may be with your kid's father or whatever, but I'm not a stepmom. I've done my job. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to love this child, but I'm not doing all that no longer. That is done with me. And that's something that I ask the divine, please, when you bring somebody to me, let them just don't want kids right now or maybe later they might want kids but let them be career focused or their kids is already taken care of or grown i don't have to worry about that and if they're not grown they got a real mother whereas though she's doing her thing she might be married but still got her kids you know what i mean did we coming together because she got a hold of husband she doing her thing and she's a real mom so i don't gotta take a mom's place because they got a mom I don't want to take the place. Don't ever think I want to take a place, I, regardless who I get with. I, I had enough of that. I was stepmom since I was like, what, 19. I'm done with being stepmoms for people. And I just turned 43. I'm done. That That's over. I want to live my life and, and, and for me. And that's it now. Like, I want to, whatever I want to do. I, I don't want to have to find babysitters. I like, I got grandkids. If I want my grandkids, that's cool. But if I don't, they got a mom. And that's what you be. You got to be a mom. Regardless of what people stick in the past, whatever they do. But I'm saying you got to be responsible to take care of your children. Because I am fully grown and that's not my responsibility no more. And that's for relationships in general. Because I, I'm not doing it. Fuck all that. I'm not being stepmom. I know somebody that never was a stepmom to my son. And that's supposed to have been her job, literally, because I was a young mom. And at the end of the day, if, if he got it. Somebody young, he's supposed to be doing what he needs to do, and you're supposed to step in. And if I wasn't doing what I do with my boyfriends, I would have been taking both of them to the court to get money. And I'm always going to put mine on what's going on now, and you're not going to get away. But see, I had my boyfriend, my kids was taken care of, so I guess I was a real mom, so I didn't really have to take her to court. But a bum bitch, she would have been coming out of her pocket for his bullshit. That's the difference. A lot of people don't understand it. That's why I, mm -mm. real moms take care of their kids. You're not taking me to court for half of what I got because he want to do what he want to do. This is what I'm doing. I want to focus on my career, and I want to live my life. Stepmom is over. I am so sorry. Doesn't mean I don't love your children. Yes. I would love them, but I just can't take the part of being the mom where as though I got to put my life on hold.
So, with any further comments or anything that's going on, I'm just speaking truthfully so people can understand me more than what they just see. Prettiness and doing her thing and little music and what somebody else may say that don't even fucking know me or whatever whatever or a little hate or they dick ride for on somebody or and all that listen i say what i say i'm not a dick rider i'm not a follower i'm not a stiff head i'm not a weed head i'm not a coke head i'm not a needle head i don't get drunk all day i'm not a follower and i'm a boss babe bottom line peace light and blessings